Hi, my name's Mark Brown, and I welcome you to uh, my journey deeper into God's Word. And today, I've been looking at uh, 2 Corinthians 12, 19 to 9 to 19, which incredibly is very similar to uh, what I looked at yesterday. It wasn't my plan, but it was definitely God's plan. Well, let me read it to you. My grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. Therefore, I will boast all the more gladly about my weaknesses, so that Christ's power may rest on me. That is why, for Christ's sake, I delight in weaknesses, in insults, in hardships, in persecutions, in difficulties. For when I am weak, then I am strong. 2 Corinthians 12, 9-19. What an absolutely awesome passage. Well, yesterday, for those who caught it, my journey deeper was all about confronting my weakness. It showed me how much I need the power of the Holy Spirit in my life. And then today, this verse from 2 Corinthians builds on that, builds perfectly on what I learned yesterday. Praise God. And I'm just blown away by what I've discovered as I've spent time with this passage. I mean, when it says, my power is made perfect, in weakness i realize that god's power cannot fully happen in my life because the greek for the word perfect is to be complete to, to be finished and i realized that god's power cannot fully happen in my life until i face my weakness and in fact part of god's power happening, completing, being perfect in my life involves me facing my weakness. That I'm not able to access, to be assisted by God's power while I rely on my own power. In admitting I'm weak, I'm in fact stating clearly to God that I desperately need Him. And until I do that, until I'm big enough to face my weaknesses, then I'm not able to access God's power. It's almost like in, 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 in relying on myself, I'm keeping God at bay. <laughs> in facing the weaknesses in myself, I'm inviting God into my life. And then when I start to think that way, when you start to think in terms of being weak, that being weak is good and that God's power can be accessed in my life, then I start to delight in weaknesses because you're looking for it. You're seeking weaknesses because you know God's power will be revealed through it. So I get insulted. I face a hardship. I struggle with my life. All of them suddenly become examples of my weakness and way more importantly are examples of where God can act and is acting in my life. For as 2 Corinthians says, For when I am weak, then I am strong. I'm strong only because I'm weak. My strength comes through God. I am strong only because I am weak. Okay, so it tells me, this passage, to boast all the more gladly about my weaknesses, which means to rejoice in them. Boasting talks about rejoicing in them, being happy, so happy that I tell people about it, which is kind of countercultural. How often do we <laughs> brag or tell people around us our weaknesses? Well, let me have a go. I rejoice in the fact that I have a tendency towards self-promotion. Okay, I need to explain that. It sounds kind of weird. But what I'm actually saying is that self-promotion is a weakness of mine. And I welcome God to challenge me on this weak area in my life. And he does. And he is. And then in the midst of that, when I realize that I have this weakness of self-promotion, 
that I seek to rely on God's power, not my own, in achieving this, in overcoming this weakness. And the challenge that God puts to me in my self-promotion is to change, to become more a promoter of God, not me. And that is a cause for rejoicing. <laughs> so what weaknesses do you want to rejoice in? I encourage you to share them in the comments. What is it that you want to rejoice in? What weaknesses do you want to rejoice in? What is it that you want to name knowing that in naming it and facing it, God's power can come into your life and start to affect your life? I want to say I praise God for my weaknesses. For when I am weak, then Christ in me is strong and I am strong.